Welcome to the e-learning course for Asprover hands-on training. 2B Graphical User Interface Realizing Visual Management Starting Asprover Click on the Start button to display the Windows Start menu. Select Programs Asprova APS Asprova from the menu to start Asprova. Open the project file. Select File Open from the main menu and select AS2B0.AR4 from the folder Basic to A22C to open the Asprova project file for this training section. In addition to the standard tables and charts, there are three special windows at the bottom of the Aspruva screen. The green window that is displayed in the lower left of Aspruva's screen is called the Object window. In Aspruva, everything is an object. This includes orders, items and operations, etc. In the Object window, all of Aspruva's objects are displayed in a hierarchical tree structure. Under the root object, the project and various tables exist. If you drill down from the object order, you can view each order of the project. If you select an object, properties of that object will be displayed in the properties window. Let's check how properties and values change in the properties window. Let's change the display name of the project. Select project in the object window. In the properties window, select the comment tab. Enter ABC Corporation into the value field of alias. Although the object window is very useful for understanding the internal structure of a spruva, it may not always be necessary to display it. In this case, you may remove it by clicking on the small X button. If the object window is not displayed, you can display it by selecting View Object Window from the main menu. You can change your font size by holding down the control key and rolling the mouse wheel up to zoom out and down to zoom in. You can use this feature in any other window as well. The yellow window that is displayed in the lower middle of Asprover screen is called the Properties window. Properties of the object you selected will be displayed in the Properties window. Since some objects have many properties, properties are categorized by tabs for easy viewing. Contents of each tab relate to the name of that tab. For example, the All Properties tab contains all of the properties of the object you selected. Under the Property column in the Properties window, you can find that some properties have a black arrow. A property having a black arrow is an object, and by clicking the black arrow, a new properties window for the corresponding object will open. The grey window that is displayed in the lower right of Aspruva's screen is called the Message window. Whilst Aspruva has a project file open, whenever reschedule is executed or data is imported or exported, then warnings, errors and information about the operations carried out will be displayed in the message table. Let's reschedule. You can see that there is a yellow exclamation mark in the message table. Let's expand the message window to take a closer look. When a warning or error occurs, you can display the message details dialog by double-clicking that message. As a result of being able to check the details of that message and possible solutions, it is possible to quickly identify what the problem is and how to deal with it. If you click the Jump button, you can display the objects related to this message in table form. You can see that there are five late manufacturing orders. 
let's take a look at operations we can do on the integrated master editor screen. Let's try to narrow the width of a column that you do not need to use or want to see regularly. By touching the boundary line of the column you wish to narrow and dragging it towards the left, you can narrow the column width. Let's try to narrow the width of the following five columns. Process selector, process selector valid condition, task selector, task selector valid condition, and previous process number. Next, let's try freezing columns. You may have noticed that the item column is always displayed when scrolling the integrated master screen to the right. We call such a column a frozen column. You can freeze any column in the table windows, such as the integrated master editor. Here we will freeze the columns from item to process number. First, Make sure that all of the columns you are going to freeze are on the leftmost side of the table. Select the rightmost column among the columns you want to freeze. In this case, the process number column. Click the right mouse button to bring up the pop menu and select freeze column. After freezing the columns, scroll the table horizontally to confirm that the frozen columns are always displayed in the table. So far, we have changed column widths and frozen columns. Let's register these display settings as a style, so that the integrated master editor will be drawn as it is when we open it the next time. To register a style, right-click on the upper left corner of the window and select Style Settings – New Style from the pop-up menu. In the Enter Style Name dialog that appears, enter the name of the style BASIC and click the OK button. There are two ways to switch style. To quickly switch to the registered style or the standard style, execute Style Settings – Name of the Target Style from the Corner Part pop-up menu. or select the Style tab at the bottom of the window. If the Style tabs are not being displayed, you can display them by selecting Show Style tabs from the View menu. To display the Integrated Master Editor in the basic style when opening a new Integrated Master Editor screen, execute Style Settings Select Default Style basic from the corner part pop-up menu. If we open a new integrated master editor table, you can see that it is automatically displayed with the basic style tab. Let's practice operations on the operation table. The operation table is a list of operations created from rescheduling which you can use for checking the results of scheduling and inputting results. Here, we will create a kind of work instruction screen as we practice table window operations. Moving columns. You can move columns to any position you like by selecting one or more columns, grabbing the header of the selected columns with the left mouse button and dragging it to the target position. Let's rearrange some of the columns. First of all, let's move the main resource. Next column, we will use the code. The column afterwards, let's make it the main output item. followed by the production quantity. 
Next, let's move the production start time and production end time. Finally, let's move the production time. We have now finished moving the columns as we wish. Sorting. You can select one or more items and sort the table. For example, let's sort the operation table by the main resource column. The easiest way is to double click on the header of the main resource column. If you double click again, the order is reversed. Now we will sort the table by the main resource and the production start time columns. When you sort by multiple columns, you can use the double clicking method, but using the sort dialog is easier to understand the sorting process. Select table sort from the main menu to open the sort method dialog. Check that the first key already specifies main resources property and ascending as direction. For the second key, select production start time and ascending. Then press the OK button. Now the table is sorted first by main resource and then production start time. Currently all operations are displayed in the operation table. Here we will filter to display only the operations in the instruction output period one week by default. There are three methods for filtering the table. 1. Left part pop-up menu. Frequently used filter expressions are registered in the filter submenu of the left part pop-up menu of the table. Selecting a registered filter expression from this submenu will filter the table. 2. Body part pop-up menu. When you want to filter records that are similar to a certain record, you can use the filter submenu of the body part pop-up menu of the table to select a filter condition. For example, the production start time of operation 630 is 2003 October 11 1020. To filter operations that start earlier than this time, right click on the production start time of operation 630 and select Filter less than from the pop-up menu. 3. Filter method dialog. To specify advanced filter conditions, select table filter from the main menu to open the filter method dialog. Since the property and condition fields in the dialog are already appropriately specified from the body part pop-up menu, we will change the value field to project instruction period end time, instruction output period end time property of the project settings, and click the OK button to filter the operations in the instruction output period. Next, we will merge cells with the same resource. Right click on the header of the main resource column and execute merge cells from the pop-up menu. Finally, let's specify the time span unit. Check the production time column. The time unit displayed may vary according to situations. Here, we will specify to display the production times in minutes. Execute property definition from the column header pop-up menu of the production time column. 
In the properties window, change the value of the property time span unit in the general tab to minutes. We have now completed creating the work instruction screen. Lastly, let's register these display settings as a style. Execute style settings new style from the corner part pop-up menu of the window and specify work instructions as a new style name. This is the end of our Spruva hands-on training 2B. Thank you for watching.